And I could openly accuse her of just simply being, playing politics. Right upon life. The gun amnesty, right? right. And I even heard an interview earlier today uh, with the opposition MP, Emmeline Peer. And she said this. Let's play it back and we'll comment on the other end. Check it out. Right society um we have major concerns i believe as a people but all is not lost we believe that if the government pull this right pull this back and involve everyone in pulling it back we can see some progress there right. so the issue for us is is not really about the amnesty particularly right it's a, a singular measure um that could bear some results let's see what happens there um, as a matter of fact, I believe one gun off the street is, is a success, in my opinion. Now, what we are most concerned about, and I want to particularly make mention to that, in the last sitting particularly, um, there was mention of what happens after the amnesty. So we know this is for 90 days. You turn your gun in or you bring a gun in that you found, <laughs> whatever it is, something in your possession, and you will not be required to explain where you got it, how you found it. That's the amnesty. Now, we found it rather strange that in addition to that, the government went on to make the point that after the 90 days, anyone found in possession of a firearm will not be granted bail. In other words, straight to Her Majesty's prison. Now, the MP seemed to want to go down on the trend of a non-genuine approach to this conversation. And I could openly accuse her of just simply being, playing politics. That's what it is. And attempting to try to muddy what the um, intent of this particular uh, measure is. So in having the amnesty, it is to say that we are providing people with a peaceful opportunity to come in and give up illegal ammunition, guns, etc. Having said that, from the 1st of May until the 90 days have elapsed, after which there are some very tough measures that will unfold as it relates to the possession of an illegal firearm, which are already in place, mind you. Right. Now, the element and issue of whether a person is granted bail, again, let me just make this clear, that the legislator, which the members of parliament uh, is a part of, passes the law. The people who get to adjudicate and judge on, or rather hand on judgments for the law is the court. And yeah. that is the judiciary. That is where the lawyers, the judges, etc., adjudicate on particular matters. We, the legislator, do not have a foot or a hand, so to speak, as a legislator in the judiciary. So therefore, we cannot dictate whether a person gets um, uh, bail or not. That is for the courts to decide. That's one. Two, in addition to that, what we are saying is that we need stricter penalties as it relates to illegal guns on the streets. Now, what a member of parliament is arguing for seems to conflict with what she is saying opposition is. Because on one end, you think the government should pull it back. And on the other end, you support it. So in my humble opinion, I didn't listen to the entire program. So therefore, I don't want to take the uh, clip or comment that she made out of context. But in my humble opinion, you can't have your cake and eat it. That's the correct statement. Me and Grenada say you can't have your cake and eat it. Right along life.